Hey, and welcome back to another video on the channel. Before I get started, I would like to thank you all for coming and watching the video. I do really appreciate it. With that said, let's get into it. Today I'll be picking up from where I left off from the last video. If you haven't seen the last video, I'll leave a link in the description to it. Firstly, I'll be adding a simple button to the race widget to see if the code to open another level from the garage will work. From the on-click for the button, drag off and search for the open level, by name, and enter the name of the level you want to open. In this case I want to open the vehicle example level. Make sure that the name of the level is spelt exactly as it is saved, otherwise it won't be recognized. It seems that although the level loads, the vehicle inputs are not being recognized or something. For now at least the code works and I'll be looking into it for later on in the series so that it works well. Other than that, let's get back into doing the second part of the upgrade for the vehicle. Just to clarify cause I've seen that there are some differences in the nodes used between Unreal versions, I'm using version 5.1.1, so if the nodes don't look the same that would probably be why. Also I moved some of the nodes around to make space for some of the code and haven't removed or anything. Firstly, promote the action value to a variable and add the word engine on the end during renaming, do not connect the green output pin to anything. I'll be doing the same thing for the brakes do it's important to know which goes where. Set the newly made variable between the red node and the set throttle input node and add a branch node by holding B and right clicking and connect the nodes but don't connect to the set throttle node. Move that set throttle input node out the way, we'll be using that later on and connect the existing vehicle movement component to it. Right click and search for set throttle input and connect to the branch node, drag out the earlier action value engine variable and select get and connect it to throttle. Drag off from the set throttle input and search get physics linear velocity mesh. Then drag off from the return value and search for the multiply function. At the bottom section of the multiply function, hover over the left pin, right click and convert pin to a float single precision then set the value to 1.006. Drag off from the get physics linear velocity and search for set physics linear velocity and connect the multiply to the new value input. The code I'm going to be adding will increase the linear velocity of the vehicle and not actually changing any metrics such as the vehicle torque. I'll be doing the throttle part of the code first and moving on to the brakes afterwards. Select everything except the action value variable and collapse it into a macro. Open up the macro, this is completely optional, and move the nodes around to make it look nice and neat. There's nothing better than nice looking code. I forgot to add something to the set physics linear node. Right click and search get vehicle movement component then drag off and search updated primitive and connect to the target for set physics linear velocity. Don't be like me and forget to add this to each of the following code. Once back in the event graph, drag off from the branch node's false value and search for another branch node the drag off from the true value and add the same code again. This process will be repeated two more times for each of the remaining stage upgrades and only the multiply value will be changed. For the next one the value needs to be 1.004 and the last one it is 1.002. The reason it's going from highest, stage 3, to lowest, stage 1, is cause Unreal needs to check through the branch node whether the condition is being met to enable the right piece of code. If it was the other way around there wouldn't be a need to move on from the first part of the code cause it will always be true so it won't need to check for the false values. Once all the code has been added, there needs to be a total of 3 branch nodes and 3 action value engine nodes. Each action value engine variable needs to be connected to the throttle for the set throttle input and each branch node true value needs to be connected to a macro and each false value needs to be connected to the following branch node. The final branch node's false value needs to be connected to the set throttle input node that was moved earlier and either an action value engine variable needs to be connected or the action value from the red node. The condition for each of the branch nodes will be the stage upgrade boolean variables we added, with stage 3 connected to the first node and stage 1 connected to the last node but before I add that, 
I'll first check to see if the code is working without it and if it is then I'll add them and check again to see if the vehicle still works. Since there's a problem with opening the level within the editor using the code, I'll just open the level manually and go from there. The code works, it should currently be multiplying the vehicle velocity by 1.006 since that is the first part of the code. The video is sped up a little if it looks a little bit too fast. Now that the code is working fine, it's time to complete the code by adding the conditions and move on to the next part. Before moving on, make sure that you run a test to make sure that the code hasn't broken anything with the vehicle and also to see if the conditions are working fine by comparing the speed from the earlier test to this one. The code for the brake section of the upgrade code will be mostly the same as the one for the throttle, with the difference being that instead of a multiply node being used, a divide node will be used. You'll also see that the base code for the brakes is slightly different from that of the throttle, don't change anything and simply add the code to the top node noodle from the red node. While making the video, I found out that the code could be copy and pasted, so long as the code is copied before it is collapsed into a macro. Don't forget to change the value for each of the divide functions. Once all the code has been added, it should look the same or similar to the code used for the throttle. The promoting of the action value to a variable for each the brakes and throttle wasn't an accessory as the code will work the same if you just connected the action value of each to the throttle and brakes, respectively. I did it just so the code would look a lot neatly, otherwise it would look like a mess, like wired earphones when you take them out your pocket. I made the decrease amount too high and made the vehicle undrivable so just going to adjust that and do another test. I adjusted each divide value to be the same as its multiply corresponding stage value, just to balance things out. All the code is working fine, there are no issues, so I'll be ending the video here. Thank you all for watching another video on the channel. Until the next video.